we brought the kids to the playground. Um, they, you know, the my younger ones, my two oldest boys, they stayed home. They weren't <laughs> feeling it like that. Um, so they're all off the car, um, you know, playing, running around and whatnot. I'm in the car, of course, with the baby. Um, he's feeding right now. I just been giving him what he wants. <laughs> I just been giving him what he wants y'all and just suffering, <laughs> you know, because my cramps are on 10. They are on 10. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just do a little quick update. So that's that. I am still um, doing that. Y'all can probably see him down here um, feeding now. So I got him on this side. I got my haka on this side. And, um, yeah, I did do a little bit of manual pumping while we was just driving. Um, and I got one ounce out with the Medela um, manual pump. Um, yeah, I don't have him on a schedule. I just feed on demand. Um, I'm not like a breastfeeding expert, but that's just what I'm doing um, right now is when he hungry, I just feed. Um, it's not necessarily like, oh, every two hours or, you know, even last night my first night home I just fed when he was hungry I wasn't looking at the clock I, I couldn't tell you if it was every hour every 30 minutes I couldn't even tell you I did get more sleep than I did <laughs> in the hospital <laughs> last night um, so I'm grateful for any of that I haven't had a chance yet to rest today um, because I had a wedding to go to um, I went to the wedding and I only went because it's my brother I only have that one sibling y'all so I just pressed my way even though you know I just came home yesterday um but that literally was just like a love type thing you know just a love gesture um and it wasn't like a long it wasn't nothing long it was like private and intimate and you know so I did get up get dressed for that um and went to that I'm back from that and I'll trying to you know do this with the kids <clears throat> just to get them out the house for a little while because you know I'm not doing no driving or anything so before you know my husband got to go back to work um just trying to you know take advantage of the chauffeur <laughs> you know <laughs> um yeah um I'm feeling all right I um I probably wouldn't complain um yeah overall I feel all right um, mentally I feel all right um yeah I just like my back is sore and my um my stomach cramps you know like on 10 from time to time um yeah, and my butt is sore for some reason. Um, but I had them look in there, and <laughs> I know that probably sounds like what, <laughs> but because I didn't understand why I was hurting, you know. But you know, they were just like, you know, it could just be, you know, just you know, adrenaline running off, and um, you know, just like the pressure from pushing, you know, the muscle is probably just, uh, you know, sore or whatever, but, you know, they reassured me there was no tears or anything like that. There's, you know, no hemorrhoids, no, like, they was like, it's nothing, it's nothing back there, it's nothing in there, so, you know, the soreness I'm feeling is probably just soreness. Um, yeah, my feet are swelling. My feet are swelling. I did very minimal walking in that, um, at the wedding only walked literally when necessary and that was to a seat <laughs> um even at the reception i did no walking um i just had my husband get in whatever i needed and yeah but i'm not sure where the swelling is coming from and i mean it's like getting worse as the time kind of go like i can't even bend my toes um on one foot on one of my feet I can't even bend the toes but they are getting really swole and it's creeping on my ankles so that might be something I have to watch for um, I don't know what that could mean but that's just what's going on at this moment um, 
yeah, they coming back. <coughs> they coming back from playing. So, yeah, that's pretty much just what's going on. So, I'm going to wrap this portion of my labor and delivery up. Baby is doing fine. And, yeah, I'm going to just pick it back up with, like, a fresh weekly vlog. So, I'll see y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Good morning. We are going to start a new vlog. I'm going to try to get back into the swing of like my weekly vlogs. So today baby is five days old. So I'm five days postpartum. And yeah, it's early in the morning. I want something hot to drink, but I'm breastfeeding and I'm scared to introduce something new because I don't want it to upset his stomach. Yesterday, I had to insure for the first time since I had him, and his stomach was messed up, and I think it was to insure because that was kind of like the only, like, new thing that I feel like would have caused, like, a stomach upset. My stomach was kind of rumbling a little bit, too, from it, um, so I think the insure kind of messed his stomach up. He was just, like, real, real gassy yesterday. Um, so I really want something hot to drink, but I'm scared to drink my cappuccino. I haven't had cappuccino since I went into labor, um, five days ago. So I am feeling for some cappuccino. I, um, let me see if I can switch on my phone. I, um, <clears throat> uh, I might just make some tea. I have, let me see. I have this, um, <laughs> I still got a lot of my raspberry tea left, but I'm not going to drink that. I have this mother's milk tea. I might try this. But it's like, oh, he was so messed up yesterday. And it was, it made for a lot of work yesterday, too. So, it's like, I'm kind of scared. I just, I am feeling for something hot to drink. Um, I don't know. I might hold off. I might hold off on that. Um, and wait till he, like, a whole week. Yeah, I might just wait till he's, like, an uh, actual whole week. I'm gonna um, just try to fight my jitters right now. Um, probably just um, drink some orange juice. Yeah, I'm gonna just make some orange juice. I bought this stuff too. Look, I iced refresher. I never had. I never had Starbucks before. But this is a like a dupe for the pink drink that they have. And yeah, I do have this too. But this isn't a hot drink. This is cold. So I'm going to try this out uh, maybe later. It looks good. It look good. But I'm going to just make some um, orange juice for now just to keep it on the safe side. I need to eat some form of a breakfast <laughs> uh, my appetite is so out of whack um it's so out of whack and i know i need to eat but it seems like i stay super super thirsty um yeah so i'm gonna just make some orange juice and finish opening up the house and yeah.
Okay, so it's after 12. I've been breastfeeding all morning, but I just pumped while he took a nap and only did, I just did a 15 minute session. So I got three ounces out of one and the breast that I breastfed him on um, last, I got two ounces out of that one. So total, I got five ounces of milk and yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, and I've been breastfeeding, like I said, all night, all morning. And um, so he's, you know, fed and full, um, peeing and pooping all day long. So he's definitely eating enough to his satisfaction. Um, so it's nice to be able to feed him and you know produce extra as well i also got milk in the refrigerator too i need to break it down into some bags and just freeze it and yeah because i didn't start pumping until i think like day three i think i'm on day two of pumping yeah i didn't start pumping until three days after i had him and yeah, this is my second day pumping. I didn't do any pumping yesterday. I just breastfed, but yeah, this is my second time pumping. So I'm satisfied with that. More so because he's eating already. He's already full. This is just extra. So yeah, but I'm gonna go in the kitchen, put these in some freezer bags and um, I mean some breast milk bags, the storage bags, and then freeze it and break down my bottles that I have in the refrigerator too. So, yeah. And I have the multi. It's a plug-in. I have the mom cozy um wire like wireless ones too, like battery operated. I have those two, but this really just pull it out quick and strong. So I don't have no complaints with this at all. Um, I like it, I like this pump. The other one is nice for convenience, but effectiveness and quickness, I do like this. The only downside is it has to be plugged in. So I just took advantage of him taking a nap and yeah. Hey y'all. So today Adonis is six days old. He'll be a week old tomorrow. I cannot believe it. He is asleep right now. It's one o'clock. He's been asleep since 10. And that's three hours. That's three hours of a nap that I need and could be taken, but I have stuff to do, so I can't even really take advantage of the time that he sleep to try to sleep. And I know that's what they tell you to try to sleep when the baby's sleeping, but I feel like that's only possible if this is like your first and only kid. Um, I have other kids, so that's just not realistic for me. Um, which is okay. It's the life I'm used to. Um, so I've been scheduling his first doctor's appointment. He was supposed to have one yesterday, but I just straight forgot. Um, so I called today and he's going Friday. Um, yeah, I've been taking care of, um, insurance stuff and his appointment. And, um, yeah, but I just wrapped that up. I'm taking care of all of that, making all the phone calls I needed to make, and um, yeah, let me show y'all him real quick. He knocked out. <laughs> he knocked out, sleeping good. So, I'm about to pump, I'm about to pump, I just took my lashes off too, 
Oh, my eyes feel so good. They feel really good. But I'm about to pump while he sleep because he's not woke to feed. I can pump one, one boob at a time, which is what I did this morning because he fed off of one and then I just pumped the other one out. So I just pumped on one side. Or you can pump both sides at the same time. Like I said, the only downfall is it's still got to be plugged into the wall. But in moments like this, like he sleep, he can't feed, and I need to release. I'm going to just pump it on out, pour it in some bags, and put it in my freezer. Um, on that one boob that I did pump this morning, I did get three ounces. I only pump for about 15 minutes. I try to get 15 minutes, 10, 10 at the minimum, 15 at the most. And I had got three ounces out of that one. Um, so no complaints. So I'm about to see what I'm about to get now. Okay, so I pumped for 15 minutes. Like I said, I try to do either 10 at a minimum, depending on what's going on. Uh, 15 at the most. I don't go beyond it. My nipples are already just sore from breastfeeding and so you know the pump you know it's all pulling so that's just what I do so I ended up getting almost about the same out of both sides about one and a half each almost one and a half each on both and 15 minutes so mm, not a lot but it's something um, so I'm gonna just combine these two and then I'm gonna pour this inside of a, um, a storage bag even though I've been storing mine at three ounces each so this is just a little over two or it might be two even yeah just a little over two a little over two ounces um so i'm gonna pour this into a storage bag and um freeze that it's still extra milk you know what i mean so we're not complaining and the end of the day the day too just it's crazy i didn't even know that was a thing but it's like a dog water fountain you disgusting pack let's roll out i'll see you never not no my best friend is in danger, and you have to help me. Sorry, we got other. Hey, y'all. Uh, so, today, he hungry. <laughs> oh, I can't believe he hungry, if he is. Um, today is day seven, and baby is seven days old, a week old already. So I'm seven days postpartum. And yeah, yeah. I can feel um, little reliefs coming, which is good. Um, yeah, yeah, I think everything is kind of going as it, you know, kind of should um, as far as like recovery and whatnot um, things are going you know well with him um, yeah like it's just it's seven days but it's not um, I don't feel like nothing just super super drastic has changed um, you know just since he's been here um, because it's seven days, but it's still only seven days. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But, um, yeah, he's um, doing good as far as I can see. <laughs> um, yeah. He goes to the doctor tomorrow in the morning, actually. And, um, yeah, I don't see them seeing anything wrong with them. I definitely feel, ooh. Y'all, and he keep, like, balling himself. I have to, like, really hold him. Like, when I'm holding him. Okay, okay. Um, 
Yeah, so I have to really like hold him when I'm holding him because yeah, he likes to like ball up like he was still like in my stomach. <laughs> like just literally ball up. And he'll do that even when you holding him. So yeah, I have to like really hold him. He doesn't like sit still. He moves a lot. Yeah, he moves a lot. Um just period. <laughs> Like when you holding him, he's real like fidgety. So um, yeah, holding him tight and close is just a must. But yeah, um, yeah, I just want to update y'all that it's been seven days, and yeah, things are well. You know, I'm still dealing with swelling in my feet. Um. My arms are sore from like all the IVs and the blood draws and stuff. Um, I, I'm actually like bruised. I got bruises on my arms coming to find out. They were just hurting at first. But then when I really like looked like I'm bruised. So I'm dealing with that. And that can be uncomfortable because you need your arms in order to hold your baby. So when your arms are sore and you got to hold your baby, you know. You know, so I still have some slight discomforts. My back is still hurting um, a lot and constantly. Um, I really feel like I just need a good massage to just release a lot of just like tension and stuff in my body. But um, other than that, yeah, my bleeding is normal. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I think everything is kind of going, for the most part, you know, pretty textbook. Um, yeah. Y'all, I still haven't introduced no dairy into my diet yet. I am so scared to do so. And that ensures, like, lactose-free, and it's still, like, it kind of messed my stomach up a little bit, too. But he, he was so messed up, and that just added more work him being fussy like that from like being gassy and stuff um so it's just making me nervous to drink anything or eat anything that's like dairy based um because i just don't know how he will handle it now that he's a week old um i might wait till he <laughs> I'm, I still, I'm going to still hold off. I'm going to still hold off. Um, I haven't did that tea yet because, I don't know, I feel like my body is making enough to feed him and making extra as well. So I don't think I need extra, extra <laughs> because he's surviving and I'm still able to build a stash. So I haven't did that mother's milk tea. Um... Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> y'all know these first couple weeks, well, it ain't even first couple weeks, that first year, y'all know we'd be running off a of half a battery, so that's how I'm running off a of half a battery. I don't, um, you know, of course, you're not sleeping through the night and stuff like that. I still feel like I'm still tired from last week when I went into labor. I still feel like I feel the tension in my body from labor and delivery. I'm still sleepy from that day. Um, and these days are just adding on to it. So I'm gonna probably be sleepy for about a year. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably be sleepy for about a year. So, you know, what can you do? <laughs> but um yeah so he's eating and I'm, um, I just got done straightening up the boys room I am about to straighten up mine um, I opened up my house already and kind of straightened up um, yeah so what we doing right now just bumping around the house
stopped at Walmart after the doctor's appointment and picked up some of this Aquaphor healing ointment for babies. I'm going to just try this out on the three boys, the three younger boys. Just see how this do. Got me some more deodorant. I'm going to try these always discreet. They seem a little more thinner now that my flow is lightening up. Um, the diapers that I've been wearing postpartum, um, you know, I don't need them to be as thick. So I'm going to get these to try. I also picked them up another bottle because today I started pumping and giving him a bottle. I did it um, twice so far today. Um, and yeah, so I pumped, like I told y'all, for 15 minutes and I got two ounces and two ounces is what he drinks. So no complaints, <clears throat> but I got two ounces out of both sides. So yeah, so now I got two bottles for um, when he wake up from his nap and a bottle for later. And then I'll, you know, be pumping you know, in between, by the time this one is out, I should have done another pump session. So, yeah, I'm going to just see how this kind of works out um, for me and my <laughs> current situation. So, um, yeah, Pumping is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to probably breastfeed at night though because that's just super convenient. But during the day, I'm going to try to um, pump and feed him bottles. These are the Tommy Tippy bottles. I use these for all my kids. And yeah, he took to the nipple very, very well. Drunk two bottles so far. And yeah, I breastfed him at the top of the morning and then he's had two bottles since so far um two two ounce bottles one was two ounce one was two and a half and he didn't quite drink every ounce of the two and a half so two ounces is pretty much where he's at um for right now um yeah so that's what's going on right now he's taking a nap and i just got done pumping cleaning my stuff Making bottles and yeah.